Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to show you how to change your memory on your Acer Aspire A515-43. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so on today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Acer A515-43. Now, there are lots of sub-models of this particular version, so do be careful and obviously do check first before you make any plans or purchase any memory for upgrading this. Now, this particular version came from PC Broad, which is local to the UK. Um, this is a kind of special edition. It was reduced in price and it comes with 8 gigs of RAM as standard. Unfortunately, it's split over two 4 gig sticks, so that isn't ideal if you want to upgrade, especially seeing that the onboard Vega graphics takes up a percentage of that memory, so leaving you with not a lot left for Windows. So ideally, you want to upgrade these to 16 gigs if possible. Although for general basic tasks, eight gigs is absolutely fine, but if you want to play some games, do some video editing, or maybe some multiple tabs in Windows, that kind of stuff, then a little bit of extra RAM is useful. So what do we need to actually replace the RAM in this? Well, the things you're going to need is a cross-headed screwdriver, towel or something to protect the surface of the laptop whilst it's upside down, preferably some plastic spludgers or devices for getting the casing off. Uh, you can also use something like a guitar plectrum, that kind of thing. Um, these come with most mobile phone repair kits now, so I've got a couple of these, but you can use a flat-headed screwdriver if you wanted to, but obviously just be careful because it is plastic and you could damage the surround. So the first thing to do is to put a protective surface down to protect the top of the laptop. Now the top of this is actually aluminium, so it will scratch. So you do want to be careful with this and just basically flip the unit upside down. And what you'll find first of all is there are 10 screws which hold on this entire back plate. So there's one here, 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 and here. So that's 10 in total. So using your cross-headed screwdriver, ideally one with a magnetic tip so it makes it a little bit easier, go ahead and take out all the locating screws. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, so we've got ten screws out. So the next thing to do is to carefully remove this back panel. Now, like I said, it is plastic, so do be careful. Uh, I'm going to use one of these uh, plectrum type tools, which uh, you can get pretty much anywhere. Again, you can use whatever you want, but obviously be careful because it is plastic. So I'm going to start from the rear edge. So once you've got a few of the clasps uh, disengaged, you should find it easy to gently prise the rest of it off. You may still need to use your tool. So that clips off relatively easily. Now I have actually done this before, so that's made it a little bit easier. So obviously, if you've not done yours before, you may find it a little bit more difficult to get off, but do persevere and just go careful with those plastic clips. So with the back off, this now uh, shows you everything which is inside. Now you can pretty much upgrade everything in here from this particular angle. So if you wanted to add your hard disk drive or an SSD, there's a section here we can do. Now there will be a video later on this, so don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the chime icon, and you'll be notified of future video releases based on the A515. So today we're gonna to be looking at memory. So the memory modules are here and here. So you've got two RAM slots. Now, again, depending on which version you've got, there are some varying specs of this, so do be careful. Now this particular one's got two times four gigs, and all we need to do to remove the RAM is on these side clasps here, just gently pull them apart, and the RAM will automatically raise itself into this position, which point you can remove the RAM from the unit if you do that on both sides, obviously if you're just adding RAM to this and you've bought the version which has got four gigs and you're just adding a four gig, then all you need to do is obviously buy a four gig and put it in the opposite slot. If you're upgrading to 16 gigs from the already eight gigs in here, then obviously you will have to remove these. Now this is one thing which I was a little bit concerned of. When I looked at the specs of this and I spoke to people, they said yes, it is upgradable to 16 gigs. 
Um, in most cases, it isn't upgradable. The RAM is replaceable, but not upgradable. So do bear that in mind. But essentially, once you've got your RAM sticks out, all you need to do is reverse the process. So with your new RAM sticks, just put them in, matching up the key, which is in the RAM, with the key, which is actually on the retainer. Gently push the RAM into the slot, and then with a little bit of force, push them down and they'll click into place. Now you can do that with both sets, making sure you put them in the right way. Just line up the key and then a little bit of force and they'll pop into position. Then all you need to do is to reassemble the unit, power it back on and that's your RAM upgraded. So this has been the A515-43. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.